The nurse turned toward a flat metal telegraph pad mounted by the restroom and tapped a message. Minutes later, a lanky young man dressed in a dark shirt, vest, and trousers emerged through the rear doorway, black satchel in hand. The intern? An older man with a brakeman's cap on his head followed. They both looked irritated and didn't reset the lock behind them. The drunkard hollered a new round of obscenities. The nurse tried to usher him toward a seat. He pushed her aside. The brakeman ducked behind him and shoved the back of his legs. The drunk wobbled like a lopsided toy top and crashed forward on his knees. The intern dove on top of him, syringe in hand. The nurse poured something onto a large handkerchief and joined the fray. By the time the departure whistle sounded, Mr. Locke had lost. His mountain of flesh slumped on the front set of seats. His left foot, wedged in an ankle-high work boot, protruded into the aisle. That'll keep him about three hours. The intern picked the syringe off the floor. He brushed an unruly clump of hair away from his eyes and ambled behind the brakeman toward the rear of the train. The two men likely shared the caboose.